Hi, hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Bash. This is the moment that I got lipstick on my teeth and just didn't realize it for the entire video. So, um, sorry. And I make new videos every other Saturday and I'm still back in my sister's room because it's a nicer aesthetic for what we're gonna be doing today. Today, I am very, very, very excited because I am gonna be doing another unboxing. And this one is very special because I've been planning on getting this new Mac for about two years now because my laptop is so old and finally I've actually saved enough money to purchase this item. Da, da, da. Da, da, da. I got the MacBook Air 13 inch 2020 version with the M1 chip. I got it from 1010 for $18.49, which I think is a pretty good deal considering the other places that were selling it were about $1,900, $2,000. So I wanted to buy this. I was planning on getting it in July, but I found out there was only one in stock at 1010. So I thought, you know what? Why not get it since I've already saved the money? And since it was cheaper than I originally thought, then I could buy a few more accessories. I don't know if I'm gonna put the accessories haul in this video or I'm gonna do it in like the video after this, but if you'd like to know, just let me know. I'm gonna unbox this in just a bit, but I did wanna explain a few reasons why I decided to get a new laptop. The laptop I'm currently using, which is this, Poison Apple MacBook Pro. It is the early 2015 MacBook Pro. And I'm not gonna lie, it is super, super old. This was good to me during uni. It was good for what it was, but after six years, it's on its last leg. I need to replace it. There's just a lot of things that's not working right with this computer. So like the battery isn't working well. You know, I take off the charger and it just, stops working after 20 minutes. I can't access Bluetooth or AirDrop. I can't even access Finder anymore, which is weird. I always have to like right click and new Finder window. It just doesn't happen immediately. It just overheats and crashes like all the time. Also, Adobe, Microsoft just doesn't work on it anymore. I have to use it for work sometimes and it just doesn't. It just can't connect or download, so I have to use my work laptop. So this one, I've basically stopped using. Also, look at those little nugs. These are, they've fallen off over the years and yeah, it's old and I haven't taken care of my products properly until now, I promise. But she has been good to me, she has been great. And honestly, I will probably still use this for editing or give it to my sisters to learn how to edit. But other than that, this is no longer going to be my personal laptop. So I've been planning to save up and get a new laptop for a couple of years now. I wanted to get an iMac, a new MacBook Pro, but with the M1 chips coming out and the really, really good reviews, it seemed like the MacBook Air was the way to go. Not only is it lighter, it feels like it's more efficient than the MacBook Pro, at least in terms of the similarities. I know there was an Apple event going on during this time that I'm filming, which is June, and I know there might be an M2 coming out, but realistically, I know it won't be out in Brunei until at least mid-2022. I feel like if I'm gonna get the M2 chip or like the MX1 chip, it'll probably be when I decide to purchase an iMac in the near future. Also, portability. I know that the MacBook Pro that they have right now is 13 inch and it's the same size as the MacBook Air, but my old MacBook Pro is so heavy that it just weighs down my backpack for work or when I'm going out. I want something that's portable. And also the MacBook Air doesn't have any fans. Based on my history with my old MacBook Pro, it just gets way too loud, even when I'm doing the simplest things like when I was studying. Yes, I know it can overheat, but I am trying to implement steps that hopefully it won't overheat in the near future. I've come to accept that maybe sometimes laptops will overheat even during you know video production or something like this. Anyway, that is all the information that I had to say about the MacBook and the reasons why I'm purchasing. Let us get back to the unboxing on this very dusty table. I also got a laptop case, just in case. Because like I said, I didn't take very good care of my laptops 
when I was younger and now I want to take better care of it now that I actually have an income to um, to allocate some money to get myself like some nice accessories for my laptop. So this is the M1 MacBook Air that I got at 1010, the one at Setia Kenangan Q Lab. I thought it was 1889, turns out it's actually 1849. The one that I got actually has the 8 core CPU, 8 core GPU, and the 16 core neural engine with the 8 gigabytes of RAM. This one also has 512 gigs of memory for like storage, which is great because my old laptop has only 128 and by the time that I started using it after six months it was just constantly full. So I'm very happy to get at least four times more storage in here. That being said, I still have a hard drive and I actually use my hard drives almost exclusively just because this one did not have enough space. Anyway, let's start with the unboxing. Am I the only one that watches unboxings when I get so excited to get something new? I think the one that I got was in gray, which is cute. It looks like this. And it feels thinner than my old laptop. Ooh. It comes with the USB-C charging port information. I've seen a lot of people, they get stickers from this stuff. Ooh, I got it. Oh, it comes with stickers too. Haha. Uh -huh. I have no idea where to put these stickers. Maybe I'll put it on my old iPhone. This is such a cute adapter and it's smaller than my MacBook Pro's adapter and it looks so cute. I'm gonna put these aside and then let's start setting up the MacBook. The first thing I'm thinking is it's so thin and you can see the little Apple logo is reflective. I'm just freaking out a little bit. Oof, the touchpad's nice. After you do all the language settings, it says accessibility. Um, I don't need to do this right now, so not now. Migration assistant. If you have information on another Mac, you can transfer it to this Mac. I know some people like to transfer all their files and all their old info from their old laptop to the new laptop, but personally, after not much thinking, I think I should just create this as a new Mac and start fresh. Hey, 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 Oh my goodness, look at that. I feel like the best thing to do right now is to not touch my laptop yet. I am going to put the case on first because I'm scared of breaking it again, which I always do. I will customize my Mac later because I think it's going to take a long, long, long time. You can see the difference between my 2015 MacBook Pro and the 13 inch MacBook Air. It's so much sleeker and actually it's way lighter, but because this is a MacBook Air much lighter, I'm guessing it's easier to break and ruin. I'm gonna put on the laptop case. I got this tough shell hard case for MacBook. I got it from 1010 as well. It was for only $29. And there we go. I absolutely love my new laptop. 
I'm just screaming inside and I'm so, so happy that I got a new laptop and I'm just, I'm so excited to try it and learn how to video edit with it. I'm probably gonna download Final Cut Pro soon enough so I can try to maybe edit this video and see how it works and compare it to my old like MacBook Pro and see how Final Cut works. So I did get a few more accessories, not from 1010, but from Netcom and a few other places. If you wanna see like an accessories haul slash what I use with my MacBook Air, please let me know. I'll probably make a video on it very, very soon. That's about it. I'm going to try this out, customize my laptop, and I will probably check back with you in another video. Anyway, I wanna say thank you guys so much for watching. It's always a pleasure to be here and talk to you and chat with you and just enjoy life with you. I gotta go now, cause I actually have an interview in one hour that I need to prepare for. Don't forget, I make new videos every other Saturday. And if you want to, please do like, comment, and subscribe. Check me out on Instagram if you want to. That'd be nice too. And yeah, that's about it. My name is Bash Harry, and I'll see you in two weeks. Okay, bye. I can be a partner, man. I can be a partner like Jenna Chris Tucker without touching.